The following is a Thothic message from the Seat of the Illumined, dated March 3rd, 1984. The Order of the Light Templars radiates from the Illumined as vestments of light to be assumed by initiates of the outer world. These initiates, while they are a part of the stream of exoteric life, so they are infused before birth by the exaltation of light from the living spirit. This infusion is not a true integration, but rather a halo or aureole of guardianship and divine mission which oversees the initiate. Once the initiate assumes his or her shining raiment, so they unite or wed the aureole of guardianship above them with the veil of authority. In assuming the authority of their life mission and spirit, so the initiate steps into the circle labyrinth of the inner mysteries. They then commit themselves to the divine riddle in faith and complete renunciation of self. In taking up the work of the light Templars, so the initiate becomes the elixir in the grail cup, sanctified and committed to the living substance of the world. The initiate then does not transcend the exoteric world to be received into the esoteric ethers of subtle body, as occurs in various other phases of the illumined. Instead, the Light Templar continues to dwell in the gross reality, even within their own body, while offering the living substance within the Grail Cup to the uninitiated. Often this cannot be achieved directly, but in hidden design. The Light Templar knows that although their body may still be confined to the karmic reality of matter, so their benighted spirit serves the Spirit Divine, to transcend entirely from the gross existence would sever the cord of service that the Order of the Light Templars extends into the density plane upon which most of Earth's humanity dwells. <laughs>